So in this video, I'd like to show you how to use the new export and import feature of version 1.7.1 .1 of Social Interest Freak. Now this feature allows you to quickly save uh, whatever interests or behaviors or targets that you've applied to an ad set so that you can later, with one click, import them back and apply the same interests or behaviors or demographics or targets uh, to another ad set very, very quickly. So let me show you an example. So I'm already logged in and let me get my accounts. So I'll choose this one and I believe this one has a few interests that I've already applied. So let me just get it. So you can see that these are currently the interests uh, that, and also some exclusions uh, that are applied currently to this ad set. So what I can do is I can click export uh, to let's say this file over here. Okay, save. And that's done. So what I'm going to do now is to come over to my helper and I'm going to uh, select another ad set and if I get the ad set you can see that currently no interests uh, are currently being applied to this ad set. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to import the at the uh, interest that I just exported, which is this one. You can see that immediately uh, Social Interest Freak imports all of them back in, uh, which means that you can now, with one click, uh, update at set interest and this will automatically update this ad set. And so let me just quickly show you that it's doing what we are expecting it to do. So let me um, click on Download to Power Editor. Okay. And then I think it is this one over here. Okay. Now there's a potential audience and you can see that as we expected uh, we've got our exclusions and we've got our interests uh, that are ended together uh, exactly as we see over here. Okay. So I hope that you can see how easy it is now uh, to simply export right, uh, the uh, audience that you've constructed and then quickly import them back when you need to apply the same uh, combinations of interests, behaviors, demographics, etc. to another ad set. So, hope you found this video helpful and thank you for watching.